Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. to throw it on first down. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door them, and that time worked well for a solid game. And McCaffrey going to pick up a Niners first down as the tackle made up near to 35. But we always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. A throwing here, Purdy. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. Pal to the air on first and ten. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Flushed out right. And yet again, it's McClure. Touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive? There he goes, right side! And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 35. A big run there, 29 yards on the first. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as Brown. Then he had a halfback. Yeah, pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 63 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. 
Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Now this time they'll throw it. Here's Purdy. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Quan Martin. And he will bring this one back. An interception return for a commander's touchdown. Still in the first quarter, but what a great start for them. I mean, they've controlled the airways, Charles, on both sides. They had the passing touchdown. Then they intercept the pass of the other squad and take it back for another score. Brandon, I know we have a ton of time left, but what an early backbreaker they just delivered. They're up early, and they appear to be totally dialed in. And that offense, they're forced to run right back out. Still shaking up a bit, but feeling the pressure to put something on the scoreboard. They've got to be careful here. Joey Sly to kick off for the Commanders. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line. So the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. But right now, they're arming themselves. I, I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. He got 29 yards that time. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. There's Purdy on first and 10. This one caught by Kittle. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 18 more yards there and another first down. On first down, Purdy. And this is caught, Jennings. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Purdy sets up to throw again. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey. A five-yard touchdown. And the 49ers are back within a score. They haven't fully climbed the mountain, but they've started the ascent here with that score. I like that, right? They've, I think they've left base camp now, there okay? So they've started to move their way up the mountain. Long way to go, but at least they know it's manageable. And oh, it's wide right. No good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Yeah, they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Commanders take over first and 10 at their own 35-yard line. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. So this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can... Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Fred Warner. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. And he slings one that's incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenge as this series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. Now a second and ten. Purdy looking to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. When you see his own defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Third down and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Shedding through the defense. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The 71 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Purdy. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On that snap, he's the hero of his defense after the play he just made. A one-possession game, and his hit kept it exactly that. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Shotgun now with Purdy. Complete to the tight end, Kettle, over the middle of the field. No move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Purdy now to throw. That is caught by the tight end, Kettle. Touchdown, 49ers. It's a six-yard touchdown pass and the Niners' decision to go for it pays off with six points. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area, and he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. Purdy will throw for it. Throws right side. And he's got him. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Oh, trying to gauge the sun, and he muffs it. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. They start from scratch here, so to speak. 14 all following the interception last time that led to a score. Now they've got it first and 10. Powell, this is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Buying time to his left. 
And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Now Hal, and he is caught. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Now looking to throw again. Flush to his right. Oh, the turnover fast continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And the 49ers are going to get it back here just past the 35. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up... It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for the Niners. 43 yards. Charles, you talk so much about quick change plays. There's one right there. You get the turnover and boom, hit him with a big one. And defense is planned for this all the time. They work on it in practice. But in the middle of the game, when that quick change takes place, oftentimes guys aren't as focused as they need to be. Now on first down, it's Purdy. That ball caught. Brandon Ayuk. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some kick catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Dance into his left. According to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Howell throwing on third down here. Slings this deep from McLaurin. The ball away and it falls incomplete. They gave it a shot with the deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And that was less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. 
Powell going to go for it. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot 